What's going on? Name's Robert. First time making a YouTube video, so this is going to be awkward, so stay tuned. So, I'm going to be reviewing Free Stone. Now, a little bit about me. I'm a fly angler. I've been fly fishing for about three years now. I've done a few miss of these subscription boxes. I've done Post Fly, and this will be my second doing Free Stone. Post Fly was not too bad, but we're going to review it ourselves. Let's see. Yeah, so let's see what you get in the box. This is the junkyard sale box, so it runs you about 45 bucks. So, what you guys get in it? Is it gonna fall down? So, we have a good amount of stuff. So, these ones I gave them my email so they can spam me them up, but I did get some free flies out of it. So, now this is pretty cheap company, so I'm not expecting these aren't gonna be amazing flies, they're not gonna be flies from like Rio. They're going to be pretty cheap, but... So these are the free ones that I got. So some hoppers, and a sandwich, worm, beadhead, egg, caddis, stonefly presentation. So, not too bad. They do look cheap to you. The sandwich worm actually looks pretty good, but the hoppers, you can tell just by looking at them, that they're not... Don't look too great. The caddis is look... Actually, not too bad. They look really squished down because they had them in a bag. So, I don't really like that smash them all down but there's those we got this keychain which is you heard it fall this thing is freaking heavy duty so it's pretty cool nice keychain um we have a got a little stickers we got a tarpon sticker we got another one we got a little bug and a fly just got a lot of them we got a little looks like a large mouth bass and a big and trout unlimited sticker that's pretty cool and then we also have some Rigget Foam by Freestone. Got two of them. Kind of useful. I mean, they're okay, I guess. We have some Nylon Leader Loops. Also some Freestone, which, just look at the box. Everything's Freestone, which I'm not a fan of. With Post Fly, you'd get other brands. You wouldn't just get a Post Fly brand. You could get Pelican, Loom, Scientific Angling. Rio, and this is just so far free some, which, I mean, it's okay, but I don't want just house brand stuff. We also got some, um, tippet rings. Never use this and probably never will. If you like, if you use these, let me know in the comments. I don't use them. Same thing with leader loops. I don't use them at all. I do use this, though. This is nice. Tapered leader. This is always nice to get in your box. 9 foot 3X. Not bad. We also have, okay, these aren't bad. We got some indicators. We got five. These are nice. I don't really like using them, though. They do work. I just I don't like using them just because they cast stupid. I personally like going with, run like a hopper and then run like a worm or a nymph. Or you could even run your caddis and then like a little nymph on the bottom. Instead of using these things, which are not aerodynamic at all. They don't even fly. Freestone bottle candy. So we have this thing. We'll open this up and see what this is. Attaches to gear to hold. Oh, okay. So this is to hold your floatant. So put it right in this pocket. You clip it on. It is kind of nice. I just keep it in my fly vest in a pocket, which seems a lot better than having it like this if it falls out. But it's not too bad. It's kind of cool. Oh, these are super duper handy. Dry cloth. I already opened this one up when I grabbed that other one, but look at this. This is nice. This is to clean your fly, like a dry fly when you start kicking butt with it. Put it in there, dry it off. Really handy. That runs you about six bucks. And they all of these said six dollars, besides the indicators and the tip and rings, like five. But yeah, it's pretty, just two pieces of leather, but really good to have. Now, we have a fly box, actually. Your ordinary cheap fly box by Freestone. It's got their little sticker on it. Freestone Fly Fishing Company. So it is a nice little box. It's got the divider, so it is okay. Nothing, nothing to be amazed about, so that's kind of cool. And then we have our flies. We got two boxes. Now, these ones are actually in, box, in boxes. I'll drop them. And looking in this one, looks like we've got some hoppers, some nymphs, 
more worms and eggs. They really like giving you eggs. So we have some big foam hoppers. I mean, maybe some people's ears aren't big. These are big to me. Some nymphs. Uh, I've got some bead heads, some dry flies. Looks like parachute, yeah, parachute atoms. Some soft hackles, little nymphs, egg, another worm. So not too bad. These actually look like pretty decent quality. They don't look too terrible, actually. Let's look at one of these foam hoppers a little up close. So this is what they look like up close. Actually, it's a pretty nice hopper. Sharp hook, so actually not too bad. Okay, so our next box. It looks like we're at a streamer. Our, one of our caddis decided to fall out, so I guess we'll look at that guy first. Oh wow, this caddis looks pretty terrible, guys. I don't know if it's just me or that just looks terribly tied. So I'm not impressed with that at all, but just a caddis. But again, these are cheaper flies, so. We got some streamers, really small streamers with crazy small bead heads on them. Holy moly, man. Super small bead head. We got more eggs. Uh, looks like a rainbow warrior. <clears throat> it would be nice if they would tell you, like Postfly would do, which I really like about Postfly, is when you order the box, you got one of these. This would tell you the fly, so you're like this. This is Rainbow Warrior Nymphs, 14 to 16. Tells you some stupid information about it. But it tells you what fly it is, so you can go get it. Because then you're going to go to a fly shop and be like, oh, I had a I had a streamer that was green and had a, it was tied with black and a green bead head. Well, what fly is that? So that kind of sucks, but it might be Rainbow Warrior, I don't know. Another Parachute Atoms, uh, another little Nymphs, Hoppers. Caddis. Um, those kind of look like soft hackles. I don't know my fly so well, but let's see if you guys look at this streamer. Is it just me or does that bead head look way small for this fly? Like super duper small. But maybe that's just me. But so those are those flies. So out of ten, I'd give it a I'd give it a seven. I was not super impressed. I didn't know that I was just going to get free, free stone stuff. Like, I'm looking and free stone, free stone, free stone, free stone. I figured this would be free stone, obviously, which that doesn't count. Free stone leaders. The bobbers don't have an actual brand on them. They're just, they're just a back, so. We'll count that as not free stone. That's actually just normal fly box, but. Everything has been free stone, no other company. So that, that part I don't really like. But you guys pay for it. And this is the junkyard box again. So actually it wasn't too bad of a box. I'm just not impressed with the flies because these are just I mean really just the same flies for each of them. I mean I got caddis, I got hoppers, I got worms, no really woolly boogers, not a lot of no only those streamers. Nothing really. Kind of the same garbage, so I mean, it sounds bad, but I mean, I really like the free worms that I got over half the flies I got. <laughs> but, so now I did order some, and this wasn't free stone. Well, it probably is, so. If you're wanting a comp, if you're wanting fly stuff just from one company, this box would go. But, I did order some flies from them. They had a bunch of, their flies are, God, 98 cents to maybe a dollar twenty-five, So, they're pretty cheap. So, I did order some of their flies. So, we're going to check these out. Now, I do have some of my flies that are actually from decent companies. So, this is actually a Rambo Warrior from Postfly. You can't even see that. Holy moly, that's, that baby's small. So, well, Rambo Warrior, hard to see. I also have a uh, Green Hothead Willy Booger because I ordered something kind of like this. So, it's going to compare. And also ordered a... And also ordered one of these. I can't... I don't know. I think they called them Muddy Buddies. Something like that. So... We're gonna see, I just wanna see the quality compared to those flies. So, let's hop into it. Right, well, that's nice. <laughs> All right then, so, one of our boxes, the flies are not even, and they're nice, that's 
appreciate it. So we'll save that one. That looks like the streamers that I bought. So I ordered like 50, 40 bucks worth of these slides, a little bit of everything. And, oh, these aren't in there either. These are falling out too. Yeah, see? So these are actually Rainbow Warriors. I know that now. I actually look at them because these are ordered. So we've got some Rainbow Warriors, which look super duper another small bead head. It feels like they could use such a bigger bead head. These guys should be putting Rainbow Warrior. We got some snow bugs. Um, I think they call this Barbie candy. And we also have the yellow hothead woolly boogers. And then these pink woolly boogers with a hot head. Or woolly booger with a hot pink head. So we're gonna compare. This is just one that's been tied from a guy that I know. So they're not amazing quality, but let's kind of compare this one that's been tied. So this one has a little bit, it actually looked pretty close to the same, honestly. This, you can see the wire. I don't think they used the wire on this one. No. So this one actually has the wire around it. I can't think of the actual word to call it. So I personally like the wire around it. They sink a little bit more. So they don't look too bad. I have nothing compared to this pink one. But so let me compare that. I mean, this one again. So again, same size of woolly booger and everything. But look at the size of the bead heads. The difference. You see that? Way smaller. This one, they are the same, so I wonder if that's just these two small ones with the pink ones, but I noticed that the p heads are super duper small, and we're going to do the head twist, and okay, so that seemed fine. Seemed fine, so they're not moving, so that's good. So, I just, again, I'm going to say that bead heads look super duper small. Let's check out this little, I think they call this Barbie candy. So, this is the Barbie candy. I really like this one. I had a flight just like this, and that's kind of why I got this. Does it move? See, that bead head looks... See, again, I feel like they could use a bigger bead head. I feel like they're just using super-duper small bead heads for everything. But So the next one is going to be some streamers, which, again, are not in the box. They just fall. They're not even... You don't want to put them nicely on the piece of foam at all. So we got some streamers. I didn't order a lot of streamers just because they had some nice ones, but or some decent ones that look, but I don't, they like the Sex Dungeon, Meets Wagon, all those, which I don't throw anything huge like that usually. These are big enough, so. I can't remember what this one was called, but we got this one. It's like a breaker back, I call them, like in Rapala terms, so. Breaker back fly. Um, this one looks not too bad, but the eye, so if you look, this eye looks nice, like no super glue all over it, and then this one, the camera might not pick it up, it is just covered in a super glue, all torn up and destroyed, so. Not impressed with that, but it look, pr looks pretty nice. It's got good action, so when it's in the water, this is going to go up and down, move all over, so. Looks not too bad. We'll see. We'll have to test out the water and see what it does. Then we have this one, which I can't remember what they called this one. Sculptzilla, maybe, but we got this guy. And we've got the hook right there, and this one kind of is able to move a little freely. This one I like because it's not super big, and it kind of has that aspect to it. And it's kind of got a cone head, cone head with bead head on it too. So it might sink a lot better than compared to your traditional one. So it looked nice. I'm wondering though with a lot of these heads they have, if they're super not tungsten at all, just super not going to sink fast, which I don't think they're tungsten at all. These ones, wow. Um, We'll save those for last then. <laughs> so we got more snow bugs. I like the snow bug a lot. Um, They've got some scuds, really good fly to throw too. And fish eating scuds. So now, obviously, these size, this one's a lot smaller than this one. So obviously, this head's gonna be bigger. But look at the size of this bead head or cone head. Look at the size. That thing is that thing is way too small for that fly. It could be the next size up, no doubt. So I'm not happy with that. The hook seems nice, but man, that head is so damn small on that fly. Like, this is literally too small. That, that's that's a size for, like, a, a, a normal size woolly booger, which is about that. And this is, wow. And this one's the same way. Super duper small bead cone head on it. Sorry, guys. Keep saying bead head. So, yeah. I mean, compared to this one, which obviously is, is bigger, but look at how the cone head 
is the like the right shape for the fly. This seems like they just would rather go small and save money. So you're cheap, you get what you pay for. So one out of ten, like I said, give it a seven. The fl the flies that I ordered out of ten, I'd give it. I mean, they look not too bad. I mean, I'd probably give it another seven. So if you're looking for cheap flies, definitely do the spot. Definitely do free stone. Now, if you're a new fly angler, definitely do the subscription boxes. They're smart because for someone that's been fly fishing for 10 years, it'd be stupid to do. But if you're new to it, go do it because you can get yourself in the game. When you, when you get flies and you can see, okay, I, this one worked, this one, then you know what it is. I have the fly. I know how to use it. You start, you start expanding. This is the best stuff, best way to expand your box by getting these boxes. So now you got to figure out which one you want to do. Post fly is a good one. I did the guided series, which was 45 bucks a month, which came with 24 flies and had gear in it. This one had a lot more gear, but this is not a, this is not their subscription box. This is just one of their sale boxes they have. So this could be what you get. I'm thinking this is what you get a subscription box, but you may not get two of these. You may only get one and some less gear probably. Minus the stickers, the keychain, and probably even the bot strike indicators, the boggers. So take it what you want. We'll do this. Hopefully we'll do some more review. We'll get on the water and try some other boxes. So drop a comment if anyone even watches this. We could do True Fly, Smitty's. Um, there's two other ones I can't think of the names. There was Precision. But I don't know if that one's around anymore, but yeah. So we'll get in the water. We'll test these flies out, see if they work, but. Hope you enjoyed, liked the video, share, and yeah, have a fun day fishing.